Welcome back to Harbaugh. The latest Washington Post ABC News poll of Democratic primary voters up in New Hampshire has Hillary ahead now by only six points. Look how close that is. That's 35 to 29. And look at the other fellows. They're a bit behind, but that race is getting very close. And of course, with the momentum coming out of Iowa with Obama right neck and neck with Hillary, this thing could be a twofer. Uh, Roger Simon joins us right now for Politico. You know, it looks like if he wins one, he wins two. Um, I think Hillary Clinton's uh, forces have decided that if they're going to win, they better win in Iowa. Really? That they better stop him in Iowa. Because if she is the, camp, uh, the candidate of organization and he is the candidate of inspiration, Iowa is the place where organization trumps inspiration. Well, when she, these, these shots at the kneecaps that her people have been doing, like going after Obama the other day for what he said as a kindergarten student about how he had presidential ambitions back then. H Howard Wolfson, who's a real pro and a tough guy, actually admitted today he made a mistake, that they should not have done that. It was, this is the first time the Clintons have admitted a tactical mistake. It was a terrible mistake. I believe I said that on this show. It was, it was schoolyard taunting. It was, oh, you know, who do you think you are when you were 10 years old, you lived overseas? That's just dumb. Nobody cares about that when they think about Barack Obama. Uh, if anything, it's a plus that he knows about other cultures. But in any case... That's it, what I it, think. It, it wasn't... Do, they, do most people yeah. think that? Well, yeah, I think they do. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's a whole part of the world that, that it are, you know, it are, is not white, yeah. and, and he's lived among them, and is not Christian, and he's lived among them, too, even though he is a Christian. And there's some value in that. And he's not saying... Yeah. The, most importantly, that he's running for president because he once lived overseas. I feel sometimes we're as isolated in the world these days as the Eskimos. Like we're just surrounded by everybody way out, and they're all part of them, and we're, <laughs> we're part of a gradually decreasing us. Right. And if we close our borders, all our problems will be Let's take a look at this latest uh, a new ad from, uh, from Obama. Let's take a look. Was it was based on the J.J. speech he gave, the Jefferson Jackson dinner. I'm Barack Obama, and I approve this message. We are in a defining moment in our history. Our nation is at war. The planet is in peril. The dream that so many generations fought for feels as if it's slowly slipping away. And that is why the same old Washington textbook campaigns just won't do. That's why telling the American people what we think they want to hear instead of telling the American people what they need to hear, just won't do. America, our moment is now. I don't want to spend the next year or the next four years refighting the same fights that we had in the 1990s. I don't want to pit red America against blue America. I want to be the president of the United States of America. Roger. A very strong ad. I mean, this is, this is Barack Obama at his best, inspirational, attacking Hillary Clinton, not as a taunt, but as saying, we don't want to go back to the fighting of the 90s. We don't want the old Washington ways. Some of his J.J. speech, as you pointed out, I'm sure the next one will have his other uh, winner line, which is, I'm not running out of long-held ambitions or because I think this job is owed to me. Who could he be talking about there? Yeah. I, mean, I was wondering if he could hear the music, and I don't mean that sarcastically. It's like he was speaking to a soaring symphony. He was speaking in a way that he knew was almost musical. It, it was a good commercial. I mean, it was really, yeah. this is what a political ad should be. It should What about the latest people. poll that shows that people, I believe it's up in New Hampshire, I was studying the polls today, that shows that two to one people find him more inspiring than Hillary. Uh, it's not surprising. That's the kind of campaign he's running. Uh, that's the kind of figure he is. But where she does much better than he does is on electability. And every step we take closer uh, to the nomination, voters think more and more, can this candidate beat the Republican? But once you, once you win one, your electability notion grows to the roof. I think especially, I'm not African-American, but I would bet that the people who are African-American in this country who are watching this program right now are watching to see whether Barack can win or not. And if he wins in Iowa and does well in New Hampshire, the people down in South Carolina are much more likely to vote for a guy who looks like he can actually win the thing. It can I'm thinking. Or once you win one, the rest of the party wakes up and says, hey, wait a second. Is this guy really going to beat Rudy Giuliani in November? Is he really going to beat Mitt Romney in November? Rudy now, they may a lot easier to beat this <laughs> week than last week. <laughs> they may say yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Roger Simon.